Hello my locks on friends around the world. I'm building a cabinet for a garden watering and a pool automation. So let me show you what I'm doing. I have the brand new locks on power here. 100 watts, super small, especially in this rather slim um, high waterproof cabinet. Then I have my mini server and a couple of extensions. RS-485 for the chlorine system. This is regulated and there is an interface. Then there is the DMX for the RGBW lights underwater. That's awesome as well. Modbus for the heat pump, which can heat or cool. Mini server, of course, then knows the photovoltaic production. We can use the free power to heat or cool it. Then we have the airbase for the six-way valve, the Aquasta air check it out on the locks on site and the relay extension for more outputs because with the garden watering there are several circuits and there is a circuit for the filter pump um, for the magnetic valve to refill the water level there is a zero to um, 10 volt sensor zero to 0 0.3 bar for the water height so there is no swimmer but there is just a pressure sensor which is installed at the very bottom of the pool and then you know exactly the weight of the water above then i'm still waiting for some components there will be the rcd and the high voltage side then i for instance for the filter pump there will be an R uh, um, a breaker here and I use the permanent power on my relay, which is potential free. So this switch is then 230 volt, can be 110 as well, can be 24 for the watering stuff. And then I, when the mini server decides, minimum 10 hours a day, but preferred with free energy, then switch it. And then this goes on top here on my terminal blocks. We'll talk, uh, I will show you in a second. And then we just connect the pool pump coming here on the first one and the neutral and the protective earth up here. Then for all the interfaces i like to use these kind of clamps here these are from weidmuller german company but for you guys um, above the ocean we had you might have phoenix contact pyramid clamps as well these are not connected so i use my modbus a b and ground and then i can connect a b and ground on the other side whereas these ones here are bridged so these are perfect for one wire for tree green and white and then you have here lots of cables to connect to or plus and minus um, 24 volt from the power here and as this cabinet came with these um, neutral and protective earth stuff, I didn't use my usual terminal blocks, which would be these here. So I went with these little ones, which are a little bit cheaper. So I can connect all my 230 volt stuff here. And for the watering system, make sure to check the data sheet because typically those valves are AC, not DC, even if they are 24 volt. Short, two shorts. See you in the next one.